Welcome, my name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am doing a full get ready with me for a New Year's Eve party. So I did makeup, hair, and an outfit in this video. I don't think I've ever done a full get ready with me with also an outfit. So this was a lot. I actually did a uh, voiceover for the makeup and hair and everything because if I didn't, this video would have been like an hour long just because there's so many pieces to it. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I think I still made it fun. And that way I was able to overlay some music and things like that. So if you wanna get ready with me and just kind of prop up this video while you're putting on your makeup for New Year's Eve, that's kind of the idea I had in mind for this video. I really love how the makeup and hair turned out. I think I think it's like classic glam and I can't wait to show you the full length of this dress at the end because it's absolutely stunning. So you'll want to make sure you watch all the way through so you can see that. If as you are watching you like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button. It is totally free and then also tap that notification bell because that will give you like a pop-up notification every time I upload a new video. It's very easy to miss videos nowadays from people you're just subscribed to because there's just so much going on. So I'd love it if you became a part of the notification squad. Let me know down in the comments before you leave here what you are doing for New Year's Eve this year. I'm not really doing anything so this gave me an excuse to like get ready as if I was but Nick and I are probably just gonna watch movies, eat snacks, things like that. So let me know down below what your plans are. I would love to know. But yeah guys, let's get right on into the video. The first thing I'm going to do is is just apply some of this Tatcha Gold Spun Lip Balm. This is new from Tatcha and I love it. My lips have been so dry, so I needed that. Next, I am using the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light to prime my face. I love how much luminosity and dewiness this gives my skin. I've been absolutely loving it ever since I received it as a Christmas present. I forgot to wet my sponge, so I'm going to do that. This is actually a real beauty blender, which I've never tried before. I am mixing two foundations today, the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This was like an old favorite combination of mine. I hadn't tried it again in a while, and I just remembered how much I love it. The LA Girl Illuminating Foundation gives such a dewiness to the skin, but the Too Faced Born This Way gives really, really good coverage. Next, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm using two shades. I'm using the shade Light Sand to conceal any, you know, redness and pimples and things like that and to go down the nose, but then I'm taking a very bright shade. This is the shade Fair. It's really, really light and bright. I'm taking that underneath the eyes to add some intense brightness under there. I've just been really loving to do that still. I know a lot of people have gotten a little bit away from the brightening under the eyes with such a light concealer, but I really like how the finished look turns out. It just adds a lot of dimension to the face. So I'm just gonna blend that all in with my Beauty Blender. Again, that was a Christmas present and I had never actually tried a real Beauty Blender before. It's definitely different. It's like really, really squishy, but I like it. I feel like it doesn't suck up as much product as my other sponges do. So that's definitely a plus. Next, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and just lightly dust that underneath my eyes with a brush. This is from Iconic London. It's just like a tapered powder brush. Lightly tapping that under my eyes, also getting rid of any creases on my lids and setting that down so that we have a nice base for eyeshadow. I'll also take it anywhere else that we put that concealer. And then next, I'm going to set my entire face using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation Powder. This is in the shade Camel. This is the shade I use when I have a little bit of a fake tan. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows. I am using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette and just slightly underlining the bottom portion of the brow and then filling in any sparse areas and then creating some hairs towards the front and creating a nice arch. I do have a full brow tutorial on my channel that you can just 
search for and it should pop right up. It's the only brow tutorial I really have. So if you wanna see an in-depth tutorial, then you can go check that out. I am adding a couple extra steps. I'm using this brow pen from Lime Crime. I really like adding some hair-like strokes towards the front with this brow pen. And then I'm also using a brow gel from Lime Crime. I'm gonna go into the Sculpt palette from Sigma. This is a new palette and I'm obsessed with it. This is the first time I'm actually trying it on camera, but I've used it a couple other times and it's so pigmented, so nice. I just mixed the shades Faking It and Throw Shade and I'm using the Duo Fiber Face Shading Brush from Delium Tools. It's my favorite contour brush to use. And then just cleaning up the contour with my sponge and some of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go on the forehead with a larger brush. See how pigmented it is? It's insane. I was able to like blend that out, but I was kind of scared for a second. But I'm just gonna use this brush from Real Techniques to take that throwing shade, throw shade, shade on the forehead and then also along my jawline. And then I also take some just down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to do blush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Pool Party. And I was focusing on that kind of coral shade today. It's kind of hard to get this big Real Techniques blush brush right in that one little section, but I tried to just get that corally shade and sweep that over the cheeks and nose. And for eyes, I am using the new palette from Carity. This is the Picante palette. And I loved all of the gold shades in the palette. So I just started with Pimento in the crease, which is a nice yellowy orangey transition shade. And then I wanted to deepen it up. So I took the darkest shade in the palette, which is called Bittersweet. And I took a really, really tiny pencil brush from Sigma just to really map out where I wanted this dark color. And it was gonna look messy. I knew it would look messy at first, but I just wanted to place down the dark color. And then I go in later with another brush and a different color to blend everything out. But I really like this technique. So next I went in with the shade Dish and went in with a little bit of a larger, fluffier, fluffier <laughs> brush, but not that large and just went in and blended that deeper shade into the transition shade. And again, I really liked this technique. I wanted this to be really neat and it ended up working out really nicely. I then went back in with the really large fluffy brush that I used, Pimento, that light orangey shade. I went back in with that just to blend out everything. And then I took that deepest shade with the pencil brush along my lower lash line and then blended that again with the larger blending brush just with whatever was left on it. Then for the lid, I used this shimmery shade called Sunrise. It's so pretty. It's like an orangey yellow shimmer shade, super intense. I first used my finger and then I just went in with a flat brush to precisely get in the corner there. And I also took some of it on my lower lash line, which I actually really liked how that looked. I normally would not take a shimmery shade on my lower lash line, but I liked it. Then I'm going in with the IBY Beauty Liquid Liner. This is my favorite liquid liner at the moment. It's just the easiest for me. The point of it is pretty stiff, um, but without being too stiff. So it just is really easy to create a wing. And I'm not doing a huge wing. I'm also not taking the wing all the way uh, along my lash line, like into the inner corner, just kind of doing an outside wing. And now I'm going in with my current favorite mascara. This is the Glossier Lash Slick. If you are looking for a mascara that really separates the lashes and never, never clumps, and is also super good for the lower lash line because again, it doesn't clump and it, it really separates nicely, this is the one for you. I highly recommend it. But then I love to go on top of this with the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Just on the top lashes, I don't put this on the bottom, but this just really thickens them up. This has been my favorite mascara combination for probably the last month or two. But since this is New Year's Eve, I wanted to add some drama, so I am taking these Eyelore Lashes. It's called the City Limits Lash. It's in collaboration with somebody. I'm not sure. I just applied some glue and while that's drying on the lash band before I apply them, I am taking MAC Spice Lip Liner and lining my lips. I am over drawing my top lip slightly and then just drawing normally along the bottom. I just like to even out 
the shape of them. And then I will take a lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Nude. This is like my new favorite lipstick. I just love the shade. I feel like it's just really flattering and neutral. Um, and because it's matte, it does last a super long time. Now that my lash glue has dried a little bit, these will be a lot easier to apply. I normally just pop on the middle and then stick on the inner corner and outer corner with some tweezers. I am setting my face with the Morphe setting spray. I love this aerosol can. This is only my second time using it, I think, and I absolutely love it. I do wanna add some highlight, of course, though, so I'm taking the Ofra Glow on the Go palette, and this is the shade Rodeo Drive, the infamous Rodeo Drive, a very popular highlighter from Ofra. I'm taking that all over the high points of my face, and then I'm taking the shade Star Island in the inner corners of my eyes, and also on my brow bone to add a little bit of a pop. I'm also adding a little extra to my Cupid's bow. I figured why not? <laughs> and now on to hair. That's it for the makeup. We are moving on to hair. I am using the new me five in one wand. It's like an interchangeable wand. I'm using the smallest barrel. I think it's like a one inch, maybe like a one inch barrel. And I'm just brushing out my hair. I'm taking some dry shampoo. This is from Batiste. It's the one for brunettes and just getting some texture at the root because we are going to be teasing the hair a little bit to give us some volume. But first I just need to rub that in. I do notice that even though this Batiste dry shampoo is for brunettes, it still kind of leaves a white cast if you don't rub it in. So I'm just parting my hair in a side part. This is gonna be a nice, like classic glam look. So I went for a side part and then I'm teasing the part of my hair that has the most hair on it. So that side there with more of the hair from the part because we're just gonna pin back the other side. I'll show you what I do there, but then I'm just going to split the hair into two sections in front of me so I can kind of work with it. And I'm taking about, I'd say, one inch to two inch sections and wrapping away from my face. And I basically just repeat this across my whole head of hair. The only other special thing I guess I do is after I'm done, uh, which it really only takes about like 10 seconds or so, maybe, I do catch the curl like you see there. I do think that that's important to note. I catch the curl, let it cool for a couple seconds. I don't just drop it right off the barrel because I do want the curl to hold a little bit. So I find that like squeezing it and holding it for a second just helps the curl really stay in place. So I'm just gonna speed through the rest of this side and part of the other side, and then I'll slow it down for the last like bang section because I guess it's a little bit different. It's really not, this is a super easy hairstyle. You just basically do the same thing across your entire head of hair but always wrapping away from the face. I just, that's just my personal preference is to wrap the hair away from the face. You can alternate, but um, then the curls look a little bit more natural, I guess you'd say. Like I wanted this to really look like a wave, like a real curl, like a Hollywood curl. So this last piece, I'm just really making sure to hold up there. And I started a little bit higher up because I wanted that curl to be pretty visible and voluminous. And then I'm just going to spray my whole head with a ton of hairspray, just so that everything stays. And I do this before I brush out the curls because I wanna lock in as much of the curl as possible. But then I will go back in with my brush and just lightly brush through. I don't really pull through, I'm just extremely lightly brushing through to make the curls a little bit softer. And again, more of that like Hollywood wave look. And then you definitely could just leave your hair like this. You don't have to add any little extra piece to it, but I did just wanna take a section behind my ear and really pin it back and make it look a little bit more sleek. So I have these big pins here. I just got them at the drugstore at some point. I'm just really taking back very taut this piece behind my ear. And then just, again, really tightly sectioning that back and you'll see that the rest of my hair in the back will cover up the clips pretty well so you really don't even end up seeing the clips 
because it's covered by my ear and the rest of my hair. And I just find that this just adds a little extra touch of glam to the hair look. I really like it. I felt really glamorous. I think it's perfect for New Year's Eve. Now on to the outfit. So I was so excited to add this as part of my video. This is a dress from Sisters The Label. I will link them down below and also put their Instagram. It's a gorgeous full length gold dress. And I also paired it with a necklace from Miranda Fry. They are my favorite jewelry brand. I will link that necklace down below and also the information on them. But yeah, guys, this is the finished look, the finished New Year's Eve get ready with me hair, makeup, outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Now I listen to that. Even on my 